this video, sad tidings for Giselle. The GSA is for sale. Not that it's entirely sad. We very much enjoyed our time with this car. It is sad because we do genuinely love this car. We do. In an ideal world, it would be a keeper. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, uh, we find ourselves with about four or five different projects, funds running out and no space. We can't even get the Pajero here because no. we have nowhere to put it. No. So uh, unfortunately, realities are biting. And uh, this car, we bought to go to Paris in 2020. We never made it to Paris, but we oh. have... May we have enjoyed an awful lot of miles in this car. We, do you know what? I think the issue is when, obviously, we got her just before lockdown. Yeah, yeah. And then she, she was, was our daily our through lockdown. Daily, yeah, yeah. And, and she did a fantastic job and we mm -hmm. went on many adventures. Um, but there's not really a, a place for her right now. No, and she's too nice. This paint has a lovely depth to <laughs> the it. The paint terrifies you. Yeah, and I just, I'm scared to drive it anyway. Yes, because when we were doing the paint, they said it's black with some red in it or something. Yeah, there's really browns in it. It's a lovely that. shade of black. It's beautiful. But it's ultimately, beautiful. shiny cars aren't really what home nuts about. No. We like our scruffy things, but we don't mind leaving in the supermarket car park. So... Well, uh, but I don't like to do that. With I don't like to do, leave Shami anywhere. Well, yes. <laughs> well, she's all right. She's skinny. She can sit in a space and have loads of room. That means nothing. Anyway, yeah. move on. <laughs> move on. Uh, she's still the GSA. So what is she? She is a 1986 Citroen GSA Special. She has the 1299cc flat four engine. That's the biggest they ever had. And she's got the five-speed gearbox. So when it comes to drivability, this is the best of the Gs. Um, the earlier one liters, very revvy, very, very um, good fun. But if you want to drive down the motorway, this is definitely the one to do it in. I mean, it's doing getting on for 4,000 revs at motorway speeds, but that, that engine is turbine smooth. Oh, yeah. This so. sounds terrible, but the faster you go, the easier she gets. Yeah, it, it is true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, we'll do a, a walk around, uh, warts and all, and um, show you what's good, what's not so good. Every, every old car you buy is going to have something that needs doing. And, uh, yeah, we'll tell you about this car and how much it is. Right, off the bat... Um, the paint, generally lovely condition. There are some scratches. She's got gathered dust sitting here as well. So she needs a good polish. So there, are, there is the odd blemish, but the paint itself is really good quality. I utterly buggered up the paint on this door by, it was done by hitting that gate. And Whiteland, uh, restorations. Whiteland restored the paint here beautifully. No, that was just a bit of mud. Uh, so you can't even tell where Lewis painted. Absolutely. And look at the depth of that. He even that, redid hello. the stripes, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The stripes were redone. The <laughs> wheels were painted by a previous owner and uh, a little haphazardly. You do have other... Um, I have got full captive, trims, but yeah. the problem is the captive nut that holds those big trims on broke on one of the wheels, which is why I fitted these little centre caps instead. And uh, yeah, so we have somewhere got a full set of trims for her. She does let water in one of her headlights. She does. That, that is a problem. Uh, this one over here, I think the, 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 it's glass glue, glued in place effectively. So the sealant has gone so it can fill up with condensation. But yeah, outside, She's is, it, it's her She's strongest point. Thing. She is a beautiful car. And uh, because French uh, will forever live on with us. Giselle is, of course, the face of because French. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But uh, th things take a slightly different turn when you come inside because the interior is out of a Palace SE, I think. Yeah. But uh, the seat covers are a bit tired. This driver's seat has got damage here. It's, it's got damage side. down the side here. Not as some fault caused by Titch the dog. <laughs> uh, that, that was Poor very much. Titchy. Yeah, yeah. That Another was very interesting much note while we're in the interior evolution. is that she is a special and that is a. Dash? Indeed, we shall come in and have a look at the dashboard. Different it's got 88,000 miles on the clock, but this binnacle is not Giselle's original. A special would never have had anything as luxurious as a rev counter. Uh, initially, they had nothing at all, and later, um, did they have a clock? No, got a digital clock. Here is the digital clock. But look at the glory of that dashboard. Yeah, um, the bulb has gone behind the fuel. Um, Thing I've just remembered and the odometer one sometimes works and sometimes doesn't uh, but you've got the wacky controls that make so much sense when you're used to them as uh, so you just rotate the wiper control at the top light ones at the bottom uh, indicators uh, that rocker on the side main beam switch down there and the windscreen washer is on top and the horn when it's the ignition is on is tucked away behind there 
Of course, you find the handbrake here, heater controls. There is a fan, but it uses the engine heat. Uh, actually warms up really quickly. Heat comes through these vents. Fresh air comes through these vents at all times, uh, regardless of heater position. So that's nice. You can demist the car and stay cool. There is a glove box. It has some MOT history in it. I'm afraid we don't have a lot of history. And weirdly effective cup holder thingy. Yeah. Look at that. So uh, that's the thing. The door cards have been painted this sort of creamy colour over blue and uh, the blue is starting to resurface. And the carpet's green. So that is an issue. The carpet is green. We, know, we don't know why the carpet's green. No. Uh, this is the starting handle. Uh, I have done a video starting the car on the handle. Uh, it has electronic ignition, so you haven't got to worry about ignition timing or anything. But so it's a bit scruffy in here. If you're really lucky, I'll include the uh, 12 volt power outlet, ah, which is also a voltmeter. <laughs> yeah, that's where the radio should be i'm using it as um, i'm using the radio feed for that so yeah five speed gearbox conventional pattern cigarette lighter i'm afraid does not work uh, hence why i've got my usb points here so the hydraulic height lever you can have it in normal intermediate or high you can't slam it you just have to wait for it to sink can uh, i just say from a new driver perspective if you're somebody that's looking to get into classics and you want something a bit different um this is definitely it because she is easy to drive once yeah. you've those controls are wonderful once you've got to grips with the, I yeah don't know you, what you, you did really well you, you can definitely give the novice point of view you passed your test in february mm -hmm. it's now april and you've driven a citroen gsa yeah i mean we're how not many people can say that asking crazy crazy money for this car and yeah if, if you were looking for a starter classic that turns heads and she always does yeah oh, she, she always, always does because yeah. people are always wondering what on earth she is they know she's a citroen but they don't know what she is yeah. Would, will we be including the badges that we have Oh, we might do. We, we, can find we have actually got GSA and Citroen special, badges to I go on the back. We've just never fitted them. Uh, we've got the pads for the um, head restraints. I just noticed they're that two different ones. Yeah. yeah, I hadn't noticed that. We took them off as soon as we got the car. We don't mm. like them. Uh, there's some GSA brochures in here that I will include with the sale. Got some damage. Because, you know, every new car purchase has got to have brochures. This way, you get the brochures straight away. And an auto data car repair manual. Uh, that's the grill blind. There's a Haynes manual in there as well. So you've got everything you could ever need. You've got her Keeps muff. the engine toasty. Yep, yep. <laughs> uh, notice damage to the back of the rear seat as well. Yeah, yeah, it's very common. Um, and as is steering wheel. There's a steering wheel cover on this car for two reasons. One is it protects the steering wheel from further degradation. The other is it just gives you a bit more manual grip. Uh, the steering is quite heavy. It's not power assisted steering. No. She's not crazy heavy though, no. particularly when she's moving at the speed. The boot open? It is. Capacious boot? Yeah, yeah. I'm afraid this um, parcel shelf is just a pain in the backside. Appalling bit of design. <laughs> but uh, yeah, very capacious boot. It's very, very deep. We have been Indeed. on family adventures with this car. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, she has a capacious boot. All the space. Uh, is the door open this side? Because I need to open the bonnet. Yes, there we go. The bonnet release is helpfully up here somewhere. There it is. No. It's a bent bit of wire, and there it is. <laughs> it's very, very French. That's how to sell it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. pulled up a bit of wire. And up. here is the engine. Um, not that you can see an awful lot of it. We've got a new alternator, which I'm afraid does make a little noise at 67 miles an hour exactly, and goes away at 69. 67 in fourth, isn't it? Fifth. Is it? Fifth. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah. you wouldn't be going 67 in fourth. Yeah, gear shift rattles in fourth. That's a different uh, thing. Also, she does bog down at about 1300 revs. Yeah, there's a bit of a bog, a bit of but a bog. I think it's, that's fairly standard. You can work they like around revving. That. You can work around that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've got a set of HT leads to go on it. These are still the old originals, I suspect. Uh, we did have um, that ignition fault. It was this wire here it had fallen down by the dizzy cap. I have no idea what that wire is for. We don't ask questions. Don't touch it. Yeah, the French just fit all the wiring, even when there's <laughs> nothing to connect it to. But yeah, she's um, mechanically drives really, really nicely. Uh, I think we've got a wheel bearing going. I think I've got one of those included. We've got a track rod end, no, a ball joint. That has slight wear and we've got one of those as well. But this is kind of highlighting the problem. We haven't had time she is currently to MOT. address these things. She's MOT till October. Mm -hmm. There is a slight suspension leak. Um, this is her puddle here. <laughs> she's been parked up a long time so you can see it isn't even i think that, that that's the latest puddle she does drop a bit of lhm from the uh, near side rear suspension cylinder we've never been able to get to the bottom of why that is 
and it uh, has been investigated. Has been investigated twice, I think. But have we seen other LHM leaks? That's minor. Yeah, yeah, and and that is about all she drops. I think a very slight gearbox oil leak, but she doesn't seem to be leaving puddles no, for that. No. So uh, there you go. She's been sat there for a couple of weeks. Came off the road at the end of March, so she no longer has tax. She's not currently road legal, but tax her own insurer, and you can drive away in one of the best cars we've ever owned. She is fantastic. We could actually start her up, couldn't we? People might, might like to actually... It's a, it's a video. You can't do this with your photos online, no. can you? Uh, there's plenty of videos of us driving the car, but here we go. Um, maybe I'll put the handbrake on. Yeah, that might be an idea. Yeah, yeah. So we give her a bit of throttle. She's a little bit cold, so the idle's a little bit down. But uh, yeah, listen to how smooth that is. And the flat four engine just sounds amazing at speed. But yeah, the electronic ignition just takes all the fuss about it. The only time we've had a starting issue, that turned out to be the 12 volt igniter wire that goes onto the, well not igniter, exciter wire I think, that goes onto the starter. That's what tells it to turn on. And it was just a dirty contact. That's the only time she's ever yeah. let us down. Yeah. No, she's very low maintenance as a as a classic, isn't she? Yeah, yeah. So we will be sad to get see her go, but ev you know everyone knows what it's like. Too many cars, too many projects. Um, we've all been there, and we think it is time for Giselle to find a new home. Our asking price is three four nine five uh, because I refused to make a profit on the car. We paid three and a half thousand for it. So there we are. We're losing five pounds already. Um, we've Never done mind like, what you've put into the car. I oh, know, we've replaced the front <laughs> quarter floors. We've had quite a bit of mechanical work done with the servicing and suspension. Uh, but, uh, She's been yeah. to Chevronic several times. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, two visits to... No, just the one. No, it right. is two visits yeah. to Chevronix. Yeah. Who are um, one of the noted G specialists and essential if you want parts for these cars, um, Chevronix. Uh, they've got a lot of stuff for them. But, yeah. And that's that's the asking price. Point parts availability yeah, surprisingly good because of people like Chevronix so uh, yeah you, you shouldn't be stuck for bits even though so much is bespoke on these cars the engine was not used in anything else um, apart from the Ami Supers briefly and uh, yeah anything else was not shared with any other car but Chevronix have got all the bits exhausts uh, they've got windscreens oh yeah, there's a few scratches on the windscreens forgot to mention that as a minor downside but yeah 3495 is the asking. Get in touch, ian at hubnut.org if you would like to take her away. I will say uh, we will need an initial deposit and a collection, please, within a week. Uh, we've sometimes <laughs> sold cars and they've hung around a bit. We, we need the money, we need the space very, very urgently uh, what, before Wildland Restorations run out of patience. That's also, we might change our mind. <laughs> yeah, that is entirely possible. As soon as I take this car for a drive, that's why I'm not driving it today, that in fact's not taxed. Uh, as soon as I take her for a drive, I fall in love with her all over again. So, there we go. The end of Giselle. It's sad, but inevitable. I can't keep them all. You want to see more collection capers. We want to get a bit more churn back on the channel. Complete projects like the Pajero, the Smart. They'll probably have to move on. And we can get more projects. Something else may have to go as well. We might be getting rid of other things. This could just be the start. You? <laughs> Rude. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, you can still head to the Hubnut store and buy Because French merchandise, should you wish. And uh, we shall see you in a future video. Farewell. Bye. Oh, I'm going to miss you, Giselle. Yeah.